Hey guys, my name's Sam from the YouTube channel Prep Medic, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use a space blanket. So space blankets are used to limit convective heat loss in trauma patients or somebody just in a survival situation. When we do have somebody that is severely injured, they go into a profound state of shock and they start losing the ability to regulate their temperature. This is a big deal in trauma because if somebody's body temp goes below 95 degrees, they're going to lose the ability to clot. In this case, it's 91 degrees outside and it seems counterintuitive to keep them warm because it already is warm, but we still have to make the effort to preserve that body heat because they're going to start becoming the temperature of your ambient air. So to use these, you can get a lot of different brands. Keep in mind that this is just a thin layer. It's reflective on the inside, so it bounces some of that heat back. You still have to insulate the patient. So especially in the winter, keep their jackets on, everything like that, and then wrap them in these blankets. This is just one part of the equation. When we take these out of the packaging, I do like to have one that's high vis, so either silver on the outside or orange in this case. It's great if you're uh, in the middle of nowhere, you need to be found by a helicopter or search and rescue resources. There are a couple different ways to apply this to the patient. Now, first and foremost, if we have something under them, uh, limiting their exposure from the ground, I might just take this and use this as a blanket over top of them. That's going to balloon some of that air, limit the ability for that air to escape. However, they can still lose a lot of heat under them. So the two ways we're going to do this, one way is going to be rolling them, getting this under them, and then having the opening in the front. The other way we can do it is we can just lay it on them as a blanket. Now, normally I would have multiple people to do this and we're assuming that I do not have um, spinal injuries in this case. I don't want to move them too much. Uh, if there is a potential for a spinal injury and if there was, I'd have somebody holding head stabilization. So for this, I'm going to unfurl the blanket and lay it kind of how I want it to be over the patient. Now, I want to make sure that this is lengthwise, if at all possible, to encompass as much of their body as I can. First thing I'm going to do is lay it next to them. Now, to roll them, I'm going to put them in the recovery position, one arm up above their shoulders, and then one arm right here. Like I said, I'd have somebody else helping if I could. I'm going to roll them towards me, and I can kind of brace them on my leg as I get this. And I want to just bunch this up till it's about halfway under them. Now that that's there, I'm going to roll him back and we're going to do just a small roll in the opposite direction to get the other section of the blanket, bring them down. I can then take both ends of this blanket and bring it around them to encompass them. Now you notice I left a lot up here at the head, I'd probably realistically have that a little bit farther to the feet. But what's nice here is that I can keep, take that and I can cocoon their head slightly. We can then secure this um, with tape. The head has a lot of surface area and I wanna make sure the heat's not escaping in that direction. Like I said, you do want something under the patient insulating them for the second method, but really simply here, we can take this blanket and we can throw it over the patient, cover them up and tuck the sides under them, this is gonna help balloon some of that heat, but you do lose some of the ability to access the chest if you need to do a reassessment or any kind of other procedures. So if you wanna learn about motorcycle related first aid skills, you can check out the other videos in this series. Otherwise, if you wanna get more in depth in medicine and EMS in general, I can be found at Prep Medic on YouTube or on Instagram.